Hello, so it's Monday again, so we're back for another video of how to publish your book or your books. Um, so we've already talked about prioritizing your time to write the book, um, how to get started writing, curing writer's block, and finishing the book as far as editing and copywriting. We're now going to talk about how to publish the actual book. It's now done, it's edited, and everything is done. We're now going to publish it. There are three main ways to publish your book. And today we're going to talk about only one way, and we're going to talk about each each week we're going to talk about the another way. So this week we're going to talk about the traditional way, which is the publishing your book with a big publishing company. Um, there are two different ways to get started. Um, first of all, we've already talked about this. Make sure the book is edited really well. Um, if it's not edited that well, you're no one's going to look at it. So you want to make sure you get it edited by a professional, which we've already discussed that. Um, and so that's that. So the first way to start is there's two ways. There's either to submit your work yourself or find a literary agent. Now the thing you need to know is that not all publishing companies accept books from the author. Most of them only, and I say most of them, most of them I'll say about 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 only accepts it from a literary agent. So first let's talk about publishing it yourself. The first thing you need to do is to find a book and you can, um, Yellow Pages is okay, Yellow Book is okay, but for the most part you're going to want to get a reference book from the library or from a bookstore. And it's uh, a book with pub, um, publishing companies in it. Um, they do publish books with publishing companies in it um, and what they it is is a list of publishing companies all in America obviously if you're in a different country you can find one that lists the publishing companies in your country and it not only lists the publishing companies but it lists um, how they what books they accept um, well the location what books they accept, their contact information what books they accept meaning children's book cookbooks textbooks um, biographies, autobiographies, fiction, nonfiction, things like that, um, horror, thriller, uh, mis mystery books, uh, children, uh, teen books, things like that. They, they'll tell you what type of books they accept and then they tell you how they you need to submit it, how they accept it. For the most part, they're not, it's going to be rare to find a book publishing company that's going to accept your book as it is most um, book pub and, and submitting, they're going to be asking for maybe the first 10 pages or just a summary of the book or a synopsis of the book or um, and then along with that a biography of the author, uh, references, recommendations from whoever and they'll tell you who they're, they want to rec receive it from. Um, maybe samples of your work. Um, I mean each publishing company asks for specific things and basically what you need to do is to submit it exactly the way they ask you to submit it. No less, no more. Um, you're wasting your time and their time if you do anything else. Um, and like I said, make sure if, you, if you're publishing a cookbook, make sure that publishing company actually publishes cookbooks, otherwise they're just gonna throw your work away, your submission away. Um, and like I said, as far as not only editing your book, but as in submitting this submission of um, inquiring to get your book published, Dot every I, cross every T, hook every five. Make sure it's exactly the way they want it. Um, for like I said, this book that you get, this reference book, it's going to tell. It lists all the publishing companies. It's going to tell you what they, what type of books they accept, and how they accept the submissions. Now it's a lot of work because, like I said, it's not like you can work on more than one publishing company at a time because each publishing company, for the most part. Um, their submission process is completely different. Some ask for biography, some don't. Some want references and recommendations, some don't. Some want, you know, the first 10 pages, some don't. Some only want a synopsis and a summary, some don't. And so depending on what they want, that's what you have to work on and make sure you submit it that way. Sometimes so some of them want you to give them the tracking number. Like they want you to add a tracking number to your what you're submitting if they want you to mail it. Some allow you to do the email and fax, some don't. And so you really have to take the time to look at each publishing company individually and see exactly not only what they want you to submit, but how they want you to submit it, whether email, by mail, fax. 
and then do exactly what they want you to do. Um, if you're doing it yourself, you're not going to have that many options because most big publishing companies only accept submissions through literary agents, which we're going to talk about that next. But if you're doing it yourself, again, as I talked about in copywriting, they're going to tell you how many weeks or months it takes before you get a response, so be patient. If they say two to four weeks, do not contact them in week three asking about it. If they say two to four months, do not contact them in three, in three, in month three. If they say six to twelve months, you need to wait that whole year before you contact them and ask them, hey, I submitted blah blah blah, did you look at it yet? But they're going to tell you how long it takes, you just simply need to be patient. What do you do in that time after you submit? Find another publishing company and you do, you know, whatever again, you, you look at whatever they, how they want you to submit it and then you submit that information. That's basically it for um, doing it yourself, but like I said, it's a little bit more difficult because it's going to be difficult to find publishing companies that receive submissions from authors. And in most cases, if you're doing it yourself, they are going to ask for references and recommendations. So for the most part, um, a good thing to start doing before you start submitting, if you haven't already, is to find different websites or newspapers or magazines you can write for. And in most cases, this is going to be volunteer work. You're not going to be getting paid um, where you're going to be submitting articles or interviews or you're going to be submitting something to them because they want to, your, this publishing company wants to know that you're already working as a writer. Even if you're not, even if you're volunteering, they want to know that you're already working at, as a writer. And this is something you can do um, while you're waiting for your copyrights, while you're waiting. Um, hook up with whatever websites, um, newspapers, your local newspapers and magazines and ask, hey, may I volunteer my time in submitting work to you? Okay, so that's doing it yourself. Um, you'll have, again, I'm not saying you won't have success doing it yourself, but you'll have mo much more of a chance of getting your book published if you hire a literary agent. To find literary agents, again, you can go to Yellow Book, Yellow Pages, or you can go online and search literary agents in your area. Or you can, again, go to the library or go to a bookstore and find a reference book which has literary agents. You can either go to a literary agency, a company, or you can find a someone who's an entrepreneur, someone who's an independent literary agent, they work for themselves. So think about that is make sure you do your research, make sure this is not a scammer. Um, if they have a website, which they should, hopefully by now they should, most of the times they put up their um, clients, contact their clients and talk to their clients. Say, hey, I'm about to, I'm thinking about using this agent, how are they, did they do well, you know, what's the charge, etc, etc, etc. Do your, your research before hooking up with this independent agent to make sure they're legit. The other thing is they do have a lot of um, like BBB, um, Business Better, Better Bureau Business and other companies that most literary agencies and agents are hooked up with to prove that they are legit. And so find those um, companies like BBB or other even like books. Like I said, if, if they're in a book, a reference book, then they're, they're legit. If, if you find them online but you can't find them in the reference book, it's kind of iffy. And so just make sure you do your research before hooking up with this person. Now again with the literary agent, it's similar to the big publishing company because for the most part they're going to be asking you this same type of submissions where you're submitting either first in pages or just a summary or synopsis and um, references, recommendations, a biography of the author. And again, they're probably going to want to ask, what are you doing other than writing books? Are you writing for articles, newspapers? Are you submitting to, um, are you blogging? You know, they want to see other work other than, to see that you're actually doing something other than just, this is your first book. They want to know what have you been doing as a writer, period. And so you really want to get out there, even if you just, you start blogging, you know, doing your own blog. If not, there are hundreds of blogs out there, probably in the thousands, where you can submit in most cases, like I said, you're volunteering, you can submit your work and it's it's good to have it up there so you can have a, a reference, a resume to say, I'm writing for this blog, I'm writing for this magazine and this article, newspaper or whatever. But again, they're going to tell you again which types of books, these literary agencies are going to tell you which type of books they accept. And in most cases, they're going to tell you which publishing companies they're connected to. Now, if you have a specific publisher company you've always dreamed about being being a part of, you can 
um, you know, go to them, and you can go to a literary agent that has connections to them. But in my personal opinion, the, whichever one you can get with, be happy. I mean, I, I don't know that you should waste your time trying to get a specific publishing company to publish your books. I think you should really spend your time just looking out there for publishing companies, and whichever one comes along, be happy with that one. But um, like I said, even with the literary agents, like I said with publishing companies, submit more than one. And again, they're going to tell you how long it's going to take before they get back to you. Remember now, they're receiving hundreds, sometimes thousands of submissions a day. And so, by the and most of the times, they don't get to all of them in one day. So, by the time they get yours, you're in a waiting line. So, you just need to wait and be patient. Again, what you need to do in that time, you can be writing your second book, writing your third book. You know, there are other things you can be doing. Like I said, finding a blog or a website that you can submit your articles and work to. So that you, you know, you're you're writing, and and they they can see you as credible. And so that's something, and that's something I would suggest you do while you're wait, waiting. Not only for the copyright, but waiting for these agencies to get back to you is to find find where you can be you can submit your writings, and even if they're not paying you, it's fine. And you can always go to Craigslist. Craigslist has a lot of um, submissions of people, um, websites looking for writers. And like I said, it's volunteer work, but it's it's a, it's good for your resume. It's good for references. So in submitting, like I said, to literary agencies, make sure you dot every I, cross every T, hook every five. Whatever they ask you to do, do it. And make sure, like I said, if you're obviously if you're writing a children's book and you know you are, all you want to do is children's books, look for publishing companies and literary agents that only do children's books because obviously that's your best bet of getting someone to publish your books. Now there are publishing companies that do. A lot of different things like children's books and they do um, you know teen books and they do cookbooks and they do textbooks obviously you could submit to those too but I would first submit to companies that only deal with the type of book that you publish and then after you submit it in two three years gone by and you heard nothing then you can submit to other companies for the most part if you're you're right if your your work is really good you should hear something within a year two years from different publishing companies and then obviously the next step would be once someone calls you to make a decision because if you're submitting more than one submission to more than one publishing company you may have more than one company or liberal agency um, contacting you now um, as far as getting with a literary agency once you sign a contract with a literary agent I suggest you read it completely if you don't understand it do your research or get a lawyer to look it over. Um, make sure you understand it before you sign it. Now, think about liberal agency. They can't promise you a book. Um, they can't promise you book publishing. The only thing they can promise you is that they will submit your work to the companies that they are um, have a relationship with. And the good thing about liberal agencies, because they have long-term relationships, they know which company will more so sign you than another. So they will submit your work to that company first. And also because of their reputation, which is why I say you really need to make sure your editing is great. Because of their reputation, you really need to make sure your editing is great. And if not, not all, but some litter agencies will re-edit it for you because they, they have a reputation to uphold and they don't want to submit, just jump to these companies. They want to submit the best of the best of the best. Um, so the only thing they can promise you is that they will submit your work to these companies. Obviously, once a publishing company calls that literary agent and say, yes, we want this person, um, they're going to call you and let you know. Then again, the next step is this company now is going to submit to you a contract that you need to read and agree to. Um, now, the thing about this is, in most cases, which I'm about to stop, Actually, we're going to stop now, and then I'm going to go into part two of publishing with a big publishing company. I'll be right back.